Hello and welcome back to Adventure All The Way. I'm Emma and I'm a home educating mum of three in the UK and as you can see by the fact I'm filming next to my bedpost, I still haven't found my tripod. I have absolutely no idea where it could be and it's beginning to really annoy me. I'm beginning to like get really stressed about camera positioning because I can't just point the camera where I want it to be. Um, but to do that aside, today we are talking about GCSEs, um, specifically GCSEs rather than A-levels or anything else, um, but really the, I suppose the topic is exams. A lot of people say to me, well, I'm in my, I get, I get kids commenting and saying, I really want, I'm in my GCSE year, I'm about to start my GCSEs, I really want to be homeschooled, can I still do my GCSEs? Because they want to do their GCSEs. How many times have I said GCSEs? Um, they want to do their exams, they want to get these grades, they want to do do it, but they just can't stand school for whatever reason. And usually it's social or they're getting some kind of sensory overwhelm, that sort of thing. Um, and I get a lot of parents, I get a lot of you guys saying to me, well, what if I want to take them, what if I want them to take their GCSEs or will you give your make your children do GCSEs and, and so on. And I think that I don't know many people who are who actively um, are thinking about this right now because most of our children are, you know, ten and under, um, so we're not really thinking about it right now. But it is something I have considered and I have looked into options. One, so I could do this video, and two, because um, my son has lots of ideas of what he would like to do when he's older, and they all involve uh, going to university. So I have kind of thought about it, going, okay. You know, would it be easier for you to do your English and Math GCSE as soon as possible and then, you know, a year later do a Science GCSE and so on to kind of spread them out um, before he gets to like 18. Um, and because I do think that he will need to go into kind of, for, you know, formal education like that if he does, um, a bit older than he would have done just to give him time to emotionally catch up. But enough about my children. Um, there are three distinct ways that I have um, found in my research where you can do your GCSEs. Um, and the first one is online courses. There are plenty of um, tutoring and home education websites that offer GCSE education. They're usually called iGCSEs where they where they do them um, do them online. Um, one of those companies is called Oxbridge. I've included a link down below and their their price is about £495 per GCSE. And I don't know about you, but that does seem incredibly expensive, but they also are doing all of the teaching online. They go to online classes. It's, there's not much home study. It's all um, it's all on the actual um, platform um, and, you know, they have their own tutor and stuff like that. And then there's also Oxford Home Learning, which is a very similar company, but they are cheaper by a reasonable amount. They are £375 per IGCC. But you do get discounts for each extra one you take. So, um, for example, five GCSEs was £1,775, which works out as a reasonably decent saving when you're talking about large amounts of money. Um, I'm not sure whether that would be a route that I would take just because... Um, it would be someone else teaching my children and um, and I'm not sure how motivated they would be to kind of go onto the computer at certain times and things like that. So, But obviously my eldest child is only eight so it's not something I have to think about right now and once he kind of is through being in, being in his teenage years he might be a completely, completely have a completely different work ethic. So the second option is um, home, edu home educating it. It is it's doable, it's doable. At the end of the day the exam is not about all of the general knowledge you know about a subject, it's about what's taught from the textbook. Um, that's what they're testing here. They're testing how much you've learned from the textbook rather than how much you know in general about a subject. They aren't gonna throw you with a question about a topic that wasn't in the textbook because that's not how GCSEs work. Um, so the first step of doing that would be to buy the textbooks. So, I mean, I would have kind of, work backwards from here find an exam center near you you can um you if you just type in exam centers near me private exam centers near me private candidate exam centers and so on you will find something the locus the most local one to us that i found is a place called wessex tutors um and um that's in uh that's in a city called southampton which is not too far away from us 
um, I would look there and go, okay, so what exam, ex you know, examining examination bodies do they deal with? And this one, for example, does Edexcel and AQA. And I'm like, okay, so let me go and look at what GCSEs they offer. You know, what are we looking at here? And for Charles, for example, I've just written down double science, English, maths and history, because he's interested in doing marine biology or paleontology um, or archaeology. So um, that kind of covers all bases for his GCSEs. And I was like, oh, say, so that would be five. Yeah, it's a decent amount. Um, oh, excuse me. It's early in the morning, I'm really tired. Oh, right. So I found, you know, I used AQA, for example, and then I went, okay, now what, do, what are we going to need from this? English. What are we going to need? Okay, so uh, we're going to need to buy textbooks, and we might need to buy revision guides, and what else have we got? So they... AQA, for example, their website offers free learning and planning resources for the teacher, which of course, as the parent, you can utilise, and also practice papers of previous years. They're all reasonably easily got hold of, and they're free. Um, you can also use online resources like Twinkle. I'm not sure if they have GCSE content yet. I know they have Key Stage 3, um, but I'm not. I, I'll have to check that. Um, and then you can go and buy the books. So the books um, are about £20, and for English, for example, you only needed... Um, I looked at English language rather than English literature and English language um, you only need one textbook which brand new is about £20 on Amazon um, you could probably find it second hand for cheaper if that's what you prefer certainly what I would prefer and then there's things like revision guides and um, and other kind of things like that that you might want to um, you know to buy to help which so it all comes in I did a little estimation on Amazon about £30 um, so the cost for from this particular exam centre that I looked at per exam was £175 per exam um, and double science award is £275. So it is considerably cheaper than um, the online courses but it is still an expense and if you are thinking of doing, oh like I when I was at senior school taking my GCSEs 15 years ago which seems absolutely ridiculous um, I did 10 GCSEs and I've got, um, no, I maybe done more, I think I did 11. Um, the other option I found, and I do like this option, is go to college for GCSEs post 16. So if you are 15 or you have a child who's 15 and you're saying, I'm deregistering them, I want to deregister, um, and I want them to do the GCSEs, well, why don't you study for the GCSEs a little now, slowly? de-school, you're going to need a decent amount of time to de-school and then go to college post 16 when they have had some time off, they've chilled out a little bit, they've done things at their own pace, they've learned what they want to learn and then when they're older and a little bit more mature, because there is a difference between a child who's the age between that two years, it's a big jump isn't there in teenage development. So post 16 they can go to a local college, lots of local colleges do this, um, I found um, two colleges reasonably near me that, that my children could get to easily on the train, um, one offers biology, chemistry, English, maths, physics, uh, astronomy, there's loads and loads of different ones, um, the ones that would be appropriate for my son to do would be biological, biological, biology, chemistry, English and maths, um, the, towards the things that he says he would like to do if he still wants to do them at the time, and then the other one does English and maths, which really are the key ones that you need for anything. Um, there's another um, college near us that I think sounds absolutely amazing, and they do trade qualifications, vocational courses, um, and I, just some things that I thought that I know that Charles would be interested in are carpentry, brickwork, painting and decorating, various apprenticeships, plumbing, for example, electrician, you know, electrician, um, mechanics and marine engineering. It might be that your child goes, you know what, I don't really want to go and do A-levels. I just want to do this and I want an apprenticeship. And for some people who struggle academically, an apprenticeship is re is a really, really great way to go, as is a vocational course, um, where they're going to be do you doing stuff with their hands and their thinking in different ways, rather than this focused academia. I certainly would have done much better in a vocational setting, rather than um, a classroom setting, and proven by my A-level results. Um, so there are lots of options, but you do have to wait until post-16. Um, but that doesn't mean they can't be doing stuff, 
is say if they're 14 right now and you're thinking of pulling them out, doesn't mean that that two years is gonna be wasted. There is so much you can do in that time. Life skills, that's a really, really important thing. You can really focus on life skills. And then at 16, they can be fully functional, ready to go out and live on their own if they wanted to. Like that's the goal here is, for me, is that they do what they want to do. Academic achievement, to me, is not how I measure success. The fact that they're happy and that they can do all of the things they want to do is how I measure success. If they are living a life that they are happy with and they are proud of, or at least they are working towards it, that's my definition of success. So if your child is 14 years old and is hating school, and I hated school when I was 14, and you're like, right, okay, we're gonna deregister, we're gonna deregister you. There are so much you can do to still help them get where they want to go and that they can do. Um, obviously, this is just a couple of um, examples of how they can do GCSEs, but you know, the world's their oyster. So there are loads of options for your home educated teenager or for your child who is like mine and you're just kind of thinking about it. They, just because they're not in school does not mean they're not going to have the same opportunities. Um, the opportunities will come at them slightly differently, but they can get where they want to go without too much hassle. It is doable. It's not without some jiggling. So you're gonna you're gonna need either the finances to do the online courses or to home educate it just to pay for those exams. But obviously, that is something that you can plan for. Um, if you're home educating them, for example, we will kind of go, okay, how many exams are you going to be taking? Um, let's cost that up and then start saving for it when we start studying for it. Because, or do, you know, two a year so you've got more time. Um, there is ways of doing it. You don't have to do it like schools do and do, you know, five exams all in one, all in one week or something like that. Thank you for watching my video on home educated children and GCSEs. I hope you learned something and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did like the video, hit thumbs up. If you're not subscribed already, please hit the subscribe button and the little bell so you can be alerted whenever I post a new video. I try and post, I always post every Monday and I try and post on Thursdays as well. I'm getting better at it. Um, and I look forward to seeing you on Thursday with a cool review video with my six year old daughter, Bessie. See you then.